for Dublin. He's down injured. And he's going to require some attention. Physio in very quickly to attend to the 21-year-old uh, from Kilmacott Croaks. Went there ahead of Anthony Thompson that time to get that ball. Yeah, we have to call that as accidental. Yeah. Sure. Just a uh, lot of lot of momentum. He got the he got the hits. He got the free. Well, there certainly wasn't any intent in that. Absolutely not. Rory O'Carroll, who uh, spent most of the last 12 months in France, came back at the beginning of the championship from the free kick. Chair Brennan for Dublin. Looking to try and get Michael Darrow McCauley more into the game. Kept in play there by Paul Flynn, but uh, to Dunny Gold's advantage, Thompson did well to. Give it to McGlynn, Christy Toy, again the ball given away, too many turnovers, or giving the possession to the opponents. Alan Brogan, big deep one in, and the goalkeeper up required, Paul Durkin. The referee is out quickly, and uh, whistles, he's given a free kick. Well, this is the key part of this game in the build-up, how the referee was going to referee uh, the tackle, he uh, judges that one to be a free in. It's 50-50. Uh, well, six but he, one they get the, the other, isn't it? But he gets the bounce this time. But this is a key for the whole match, how the tackle area uh, and the collision area, as they might say in another code, is refereed. That time ruling against Neil McGee, so Bernard Brogan from straight in front of the post levels up the match. Both sides getting their points from freeze. One for Colin McFadden, one for Bernard Brogan, the two number 15s, a point apiece. Here it is again, a little bit more detail this time. Is it a foul? Was he holding him back? That's how the referee saw it, I guess. <laughs> Towards Christy Toy, one against two. Comes back for Dublin to Barry Cahill. And again, the Donegal players in quickly and eagerly. Anthony Thompson booted ahead, hopefully. It's one against three there. Dublin outnumbering Colin McFadden. In the end, worked out here to Keanu O'Sullivan. Free kick awarded. Oh, it's very scrappy in the extreme. Thompson. McFadden back in again to Cassidy, the hero here a few weeks ago, McFadden once more, 45 metres from the target, nice ball to Ryan Bradley, or at least it looked it, but uh, gathered too much momentum, Bradley couldn't contain it, far too many errors from players on both teams so far in the opening 14 minutes. Yeah, I think that is the key number that both managers will be looking for, the amount of ball that's been lost in the tackle, just need to show a little bit more composure, hold on to the ball a bit longer. Brennan spreads it wide here. Flynn. Has Kevin Nolan available. Barry Cahill now. David Connolly. Looking to get some change out of the Donegal defence, but they're not going to give him any kind of room or latitude. And it's Frankie McGlynn who gets it out. Michael Murphy just about holds on to it. David Walsh. Familiar pattern, but it's right round through the centre and it's clogged with players. There's no real space in which to play. Finally, Carol Lacey goes down. It looked like a good challenge when I saw it first. And it still yeah. looks like yeah, a pretty it decent challenge. Did from uh, John yeah. McCarthy. Looked like side to side. So, a couple of debatable calls by the referee that uh, foul by. Neil McGee as the referee saw it, which gave Bernard Brogan his first free kick, and that one there. John McCarthy back up on his feet. James McCarthy Robert. So Michael Murphy ready to kick this one. 50 metres out.
Well, he's taking loads of time over it. And there was all something about a waste of time in the end. This tactic of playing Michael Murphy out around the 40, indeed into midfield altogether. And this tactic of coughing up the, the kick out so easily to Dublin and uh, asking Dublin to come on to you, that too might need uh, another little bit of examination. Joe Brennan, kick deep in towards Bernard Brogan, but again, got a goal there in numbers, getting it out as far as David Walsh. Now Ryan Bradley. Michael Murphy, if it works out in the end and you're a point ahead, well, they will feel that the tactics are worthwhile. Paddy McGrath, in spite of all the speculation about the injury, he's uh, started the game. On as far as Colin McFadden, kicking from the angle. It's dropped short and into uh, Cluxton's hands. And Dublin can counter-attack with Kevin Nolan. Michael Darrell McCauley, whose dad Michael is uh, from near the losses in Donegal. Huge one in. Broken down again, but look at the number of dummy goal players in there against Bernard Brogan. Out by Frank McGlynn. Neil McGee now. And Ryan Bradley. Plays with loads of energy. Taking on Joe Brennan. Beating him. Still Bradley. Got a little deflection. And it's gone for a 45. First of the match, I think. I just thought the Dublin defence were a little bit slow to react to that block. It was uh, put up in the air, and I thought Cluxton or one of the defenders would get to it. Because 45s these days, Ger, are big opportunities. They're not missed that often. There's certainly uh, nobody marking you when you're taking them, so they are real chances. It's such a tactical battle this afternoon. It really is. Well, almost 18 minutes gone and a point apiece and both of those from freeze I don't think Rory O'Carroll is in prayer is uh, requiring some attention very good young fullback he's showed great tenacity in the uh, games we've seen him play so far didn't have the greatest of semi-finals last year mind you I think that could have been from the earlier clash when he was coming out with it and Michael Murphy yeah. bumped into him uh, I think it was a knee, you know, totally accidental, it was it. but they're still painful. Well, the crowds are enjoying themselves anyway in terms of raising the decibel level. To do it a bit more free-flowing football, however, it's been at an absolute premium. We've talked about Dunny Gall in the past being a, a team slow to start, didn't make a particularly good start against Kildare. The point they got late in that half by Mark McHugh was vital. Something similar happened against Tyrone, you might remember. And uh, the fear, I think, from Danny Gold's point of view was that Dublin would get away to a flyer, possibly get a goal or two. So how happy are they with the situation right now? I would have said thrilled. Chance to go in front here. Once again, Colabac Fadden who got the opening point from a free. So this from a 45 now. Whatever breeze there is, is blowing from left to right as he approaches it, so he'll be trying to aim towards the post on the left-hand side as he sees it. And trying to draw it in. Well, he was aiming for the left-hand post, but it didn't come in sufficiently. So that's a fourth wide now for Dunny Gall, and again a short kick out. And Dublin's Kevin Nolan is just moving forward effortlessly, time and again, aided and abetted by Keanu Sullivan here. And it's at a certain point that Dunny Gall put up the opposition. Brian Cullen now trying to make some inroads. Alan Brogan. Now Dennis Bastic. Donegal loads and loads of bodies back there, three, Dunne three Dublin attackers inside, one of them is Bernard Brogan and he's left it short. Mark McHugh. Again, his role is essentially to play back there around the half-back line. Neil McGee. Frank McGlynn. It's not easy on the eye. Murphy, 
Now David Walsh. So many hand passes. Christy Toy. Ready to take off Pasquia and O'Sullivan. Toy now went so far, almost got a nosebleed. Looking for support, finally kicking it. Nobody in there, absolutely nobody. Except goalkeeper Stephen Cluxton. Beyond Paul Flynn. And it breaks kindly now for Alan Brogan. A man with a real creative flair, but as I say, he just puts it outside the post, and that's the second one he's driven wide on the right-hand side. Four wides for Dublin as well. And he's got two of them. And again, the same point applies. Once he sees the defenders coming towards him, his first uh, tendency is to go for the shot from distance, even if he's not comfortable or it's not really on. His brother Bernard came off his marker, might have got a ball inside, but he said, no, I'll have a go for it, another wide. Right now inside the 65 metre line as Donegal kick out, they have 10 players back. And Birkin's kick outs need to be very consistent today, they've won this one. Christy Troy, that's David Walsh, the breed player. Rory Cavada. Two points so far, both of them from freeze. 22 minutes gone. That tells its own story. Mark McHugh. In there towards McFadden. Comes back out towards Brian Cullen. Needs a second go. And the fist seems to be going in there rather than the hand. And the referee does blow his whistle. Free to Dublin. Well, McFadden not prepared to yield an inch. This is what was happening here. That's uh, a foul, surely. Fadden, I think, eventually getting his man. Kevin Nolan now for Dublin. Joe Brennan advancing. A little bit of purpose in this, but again, it's going to drop short. Easy one for Paul Durkin to take. Back out here as far as Ryan Bradley. Carried on by Michael Murphy. Oof, high challenge there on Christy Toy by Paul Flynn. David Walsh. That's Frank McGlynn there, pops it up to Bernard Brogan. Jim Connolly. back towards Brogan. It's high up into the air, but it doesn't have the legs. McHugh waiting, everybody waiting, and McHugh eventually got a little touch there to take it all clear of danger. It's safety first all the way. The changing face of Gaelic football. Christy Toy holding it up for Frank McGlynn. Joe Brennan again closes the space. Dublin now getting all the players back. Quick check on the numbers, and I think they have got uh, 10 players back as well now. Rory Cavanagh trying to make the insertion in there. Hands and knees job. Got it as far as McFadden. It's a mad scramble. Cassidy next. How many players can we get around Cassidy? I'm sure the dubs are thinking. Finally getting it out as far as Ryan Bradley. Chance to shoot, he did it against Antrim on the opening day of the championship. Got two then, he's got one here, and that's the first point to come from play. And it's in the 24th minute. Two points to one Donegal lead. And a good old distance out when Ryan Bradley got his fifth point of this year's championship. James McCarthy now. Alan Brogan. Quick ball in. That's a little better into Bernard Brogan. 